Welcome to Siler Design Solutions Tips and Tricks. I'm Erica Compton, and I'm going to show you how to add clearance zones to your Revit families. Let's go to our Revit project, select our family, and then click the Edit Family button from the ribbon. When building any geometry in a family, it's important to create your reference planes first. Reference planes act as a skeleton for your family geometry. Setting the stage for our family, we should also create our family subcategory clearance zone and set the visibility for our subcategory. Additionally important is our clearance zone material. Within the material asset we create for clearance zone, we want to set our transparency and color. Now that we have our clearance zone reference planes, let's dimension them to the existing reference planes of our family. Each of our dimensions can now be assigned a label with a new family instance parameter. Make sure your overall dimensions are checked for reporting so that we don't over constrain our family. With dimensions labeled, Let's flex our parameters and verify they behave as we expect them to. Assured that our labels and parameters flex correctly, let's now add our symbolic lines in our reference level plan and then in our front and left elevations. Next, let's create our extrusion, making sure to snap the reference planes intersections, assigning the clearance zone material, and our clearance zone subcategory before we hit finish. Once the extrusion is created, we need to assign visibility to 3D only. Our family has a complete clearance zone added, so let's load it into our project. Before we consider our work complete, let's again verify that our family behaves as expected in our project. Do the symbolic lines have grips and plan and elevation? Yes, they do. Can we turn off the visibility of the clearance zone in 3D? Yes. Does the clearance zone material appear transparent? Yes, it does. Thanks for watching.